Willie D. Live. What's up, family? We got a high school staff member that put hands and feet on a student. Did him bad, fam. Question, was he wrong? There's very little context. The student did strike first. They were yapping and the student pushed the staff member. And that staff member opened up a can of whoop ass. Did him dirty. I mean, it was one sided fight. Ding, 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 ding. You could tell that when the student was getting hit, that he was thinking to himself, I messed up. Damn. Because he couldn't get nothing in. Boy trying to swing. The staff member was doing him dirty. Just did him real dirty. Mopped the floor up with him and kicked the bucket over. So, the whole time I'm checking it out, I'm thinking to myself, at first, he probably deserved it. And then I'm thinking, man, they gonna get you, buddy. You can take that educational piece off your resume because you're not gonna, <laughs> you're not gonna be able to use it for a while. Did him dirty. Yeah, dude is going to jail. Now, here's the thing, fam. After watching so many of these videos of kids fighting teachers and all of this stuff, if I wanted to be an educator, I would probably go on the collegiate level just because these students today, or perhaps I'd go to an elementary school, you know. When I'm get out of line, I can just grab them and lift them up in there like this, you know. But all that boxing, these teenagers and stuff, uh-uh. I'm not going through all of that, man. Cause you know, they, and they pack pistols too, man. They, oh, they'll shoot the teacher. Yeah, man, it's different. It's way different, man. It's like little to no respect at all. I could tell the little dude was really, really aggressive. But he stuck his hand in some S-H-I-T. And here's the deal, fam. A lot of people were saying that the dude was wrong under no circumstances. Do you put your hand on a child? The thing is, is that it could have probably been avoided once he realized he was dealing with an uncivilized mud child. He should have digressed, you know, moved around, did something different, let a resource officer or a principal or somebody else intervene, you know, talk to him or whatever. But standing there and trying to have an argument with a disrespectful youngster, it always ends bad. Because when kids are standing around, egging it on, nobody wants to back down. And so violence is imminent. Dude going to jail, he absolutely, I'm saying going to jail, he's probably in jail by now, he's probably in jail and has made bond. But he nodded that youngster up. Both of them learned a lesson. The youngster's lesson was that, you know, keep your hands to yourself, man. The adult's lesson is, leave them kids alone. Don't put your hands on them kids. He did that boy so bad that they'll, they'll probably damn near hit him with an attempted murder charge or something. Well, he probably won't go that far, but they, they gonna charge him. They gonna be hard on him because he was whooping him like a dude out in the streets. You know, if he, if he the dude would have pushed him and then he would have just hit him one time or boom, boom, he might've been all right. Because when he hit him, the fight really was over. The first punch just really was over. But he could have ended, but he, he finished him off. He finished him. So both of them definitely have learned a valuable lesson. I feel no empathy whatsoever for the youngster, though. I don't feel for the youngster. I feel for those staff members and those teachers who have to deal with these unruly, disrespectful kids. That's who I feel for. The youngster, 
I feel nothing because the way I operate is you don't get to start a fight, get your ass whooped, and then play the victim. No matter how old you are. No more talk.